Okay. That was first. That was. Uh, that's actually addressed in both Old and New Testaments. It's, un it's, it's addressed under one at a time. It's addressed under the under the under under the New Covenant, and and First Corinthians six nine, Romans chapter one, First Timothy chapter one, and and also. Spot them out for me. Can you actually let me you know, let people listen and talk? No. Okay. It just makes it easier. <laughs> Not <laughs> you know, for you. Be, actually, yeah, it makes it easier for them to the listen. But I'm I'm sorry to have to deal with this, but. Um, can I can I read what what do you know what the Bible says about it? You have to read it. I thought I have you knew to go it. Back to work. I just thought it okay. was interesting. Yeah, if you look if you look look, look up Romans chapter one. Yeah, I actually have I actually have a certificate in Bible study, so okay. I know I know exactly what you're talking about. I okay. just wanted to see if you were educated. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, we're Christians. We we, we read the Bible and yeah, I'm and, a gay Christian. So. Oh, okay. Well, mm -hmm. what, what what does that mean that you're a gay Christian? Can you it elaborate on that? that? I love people and I don't judge them and I support Jesus and His word. So you don't judge anyone at all? Okay. Uh, you don't. You don't. You don't, ju you don't judge anyone in any, in any way because we actually we all actually judge people. We have internal biases, but okay. it's my job as a Christian to try and work against them. So if someone murders somebody else, like yeah, I can say to myself, yeah, that's bad, but I don't know their life story. Only God knows that. Well, that you that you are judging that person by saying that's bad, or th even thinking that's bad. My <laughs> personal value is that it's bad, but I don't force that on other people. But, hey, but, but, hey, look, yeah. look at your sign. You're yeah. judging people, Cupcake. And you've been judging us all day, sir. Because <laughs> yeah. uh, again, yeah. what you know of the Bible is wrong. Did you try and get people to react? Well, we came to get people the gospel. No, you came and, to get people to react. But and, God wanted the gospel to be made from love. Yeah, and we're, we're, we're speaking the truth in love. We're, no, if we hated you, we wouldn't be here. People have died love. because people have said gay things about, like, that people who are you know, gay well, have like, sinned. Well, like, people yeah. have been murdered. I've had friends who have killed themselves because of what people you're preaching. People have been murdered because Well, we're not telling people to kill themselves. We're giving them the gospel. If but the yeah. way that you're delivering the gospel is very harmful to I don't, many people. Well, it's, sorry, it's, I'm yeah. sorry, but there's different yeah. ways that you can go about it. You can definitely go about it from a more loving way. Well, it... No matter how we do this, people are going to hate it because they love their sin and they hate God. That's, that, that's, that, that's, that's actually what Jesus said. Jesus said in John chapter 3, For this is the judgment that the light has come... Do you go to churches and okay, do that? Do you to every denomination? For this is the judgment that the light has come into the world, and men love the darkness rather than the light, because their deeds were evil. For everyone who loves the darkness hates the light, and does not come to the light, for fear that his deeds will be exposed. So Jesus is the, is the light, and when you preach Jesus to people, they hate it, no matter how you do it. People, you're making people not want to go to Jesus because they're afraid that they're going to be faced with hate. I don't know, because we're not preaching hatred at all today. It, not, not hatred of people. There's a hatred of sin. We hate um, sin. So these are we love people. We, love so people, people, people we hate sin. So you're and sin, he's not and sin, and sin destroys people. It's, it leads people to hell. You just said he's not and, and that that's the most loving thing like we can do is to is, is to give the truth to people. That's the most loving thing we can do. Would you, would you like to correct that? You just said. How, 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 how do you how do you know you're a Christian, man? Well, Jesus, Jesus did. Um, well, Jesus said that that love does not rejoice in unrighteousness, but rejoices with the truth. And and this is great unrighteousness here. Who are you to speak on behalf of God? Because we get we have, we have God's word, so we. Where does it say that that you become God? Well, we read what God says. You know. So where does it say that you're you're here to judge everyone on earth? And the Bible says to examine yourself. Test yourself to see if you're in the faith in Second Corinthians. Yeah. Yes, yeah. And that, so that, that's what I'm saying is that I encourage you to do that because I've done it myself over the years. We have. Oh, believe me, I do all the time, all the time. And, and what part of your reflection told you that it would be a good idea to come here to a university where there are minor students who try to force your beliefs on them? Well, we're not and, really and forcing them, anything on them. We're like they're free to walk away. They don't have to listen. You know, they can curse us out as this guy's been doing. They can flip us off. They don't have to listen at all. We're, we're not we're not making anyone listen to anything. We're not tying them to a chair and making them listen. We're just preaching, and if listen. they they don't have to listen at all. But why yeah. do you have to preach with the hateful messages? And I don't see how this is. I think this is very loving to warn people, and you know we don't want them to die and go to hell. That's the so, most loving thing we can do. It's God's, it's God's to job to determine whether or not people go to hell, and it's their personal it's their personal experience with faith to be able to determine their own relationship with God. You can't dictate that for them. But we have to preach the truth to them so in love, so that because so how how will they? Read your Bible to the people, or sit out here oh, I, oh, and read I do. your Bible with people. Invite them to come sit with you, read the Bible, 
people. Don't direct your. Don't yeah, actually, your actually, we actually we do. Group of people. Uh, take down these signs. Sit down and read with people. Get to know them. That's what God wants you to do. Not oh yeah. Away. Yeah, we do that sometimes too. Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. That's and, all the time. That's okay, how well, you enforce the I, Bible. I, that's what missionary. I, well, that, 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 that's, that, that's not what. But in the Bible, they did open air preaching too, and people hated it. To our pride organization and accept us with loving arms and read the Bible with us. Well, I wouldn't accept the sin because that would not be loving you. But I, but I, I but I would. Accept a whole person for who they are, like the Bible says to. I would not condone the sin. It, can, it wouldn't be loving to someone. Okay, but can, the sin is not the person, girl. I'm but, sorry. But but the sin's in the person, and it's not loving to okay, accept. Okay, but the sin is in your clothing. We established no, that. No, no, that's not sin. It's yeah, that, yeah, that was for. That was for a different Bible, culture and a different time. Yeah, different different culture, different different under time. under the old covenant, yeah, we have a. Corinthians, Paul, and all that was for different cultures of the time. What year specifically? Very, very close to the, t the time of, of when Jesus was walking the earth. What year was part, that? part of it, because it was written over a period of about 1,500 years. And, and what, what time was that? Uh, well, it was, all, it was compiled within like the first uh, about 100 years of um, even... AD, like I'm looking for a number. Uh, about, about, about 100, I believe. I, I don't have the exact numbers in my head, but about 100 AD, within, within 100 years. Mm -hmm. Very close to the, the time that Jesus Christ walked the earth and the disciples were still living. And you know he walked the earth? And do we, do we well, have I that truly, I truly believe. And you're an ordained minister there. saying that. Yeah, wow. Yeah. I'm also plural, pluralistic. Wow. That's. Do you, do you understand uh, that I yet? truly believe that he walked the earth, and yeah. I also truly yeah. believe that man wrote this word in the scripture, and it was really yeah. saw in our personal experience. You don't, you don't believe that God wrote this, the book, the Bible? I know that it's for a fact that God used people to help write the Bible. Well, he he used people as his instrument. Yeah. Yes. He, not that he needed their. I don't think that you said that everyone has their own personal biases. You don't think that the people who wrote this inflicted their own personal biases onto it as well. Well, it, you said that everyone judges. Yeah, everyone does judge. We yeah. all judge. Yeah. And. Not the people who are who are writing it. Well, because because the Bible says in let's see Second Timothy chapter three. Let's see here. Is that New or Old Testament? New, New, New Testament. New Testament so. You know, day minister, shouldn't you know that? No, no. I'm just, I'm asking you because you know you'll yeah. you'll keep flipping from the old covenant that you say doesn't belong, yeah. and yet I'll hand out the Ten Commandments, which is the old covenant, which is also the Jewish faith, by the way, not the faith. Says in Second Timothy chapter three. So if Jesus died. For well, nothing, I just, I just, I just want to, I just want to address that real quick. Do you think that Jesus died for nothing? I just want to address that real quick. And, and who was Timothy it says, uh, says all scripture is inspired by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, for training in righteousness, so that the man of God may be adequate, equipped for every good work. Is inspired by God. And so God, I mean, yes, God used men as an, as an instrument, but he wrote this, he wrote the Bible. And we can, we can, we, we can trust him. And... Well, listen, I have so to get back to work, but I really, truly pray that God forgives you for the sins that you're committing today. Um, Thank you. Okay, okay. Thanks for talking to me, ma'am. Circumstances that might change, you know, the way that I look at this certain issue. Does that make sense? Um, yeah, listen, I, I, uh, do you, uh, do you have a, do you have a question in, in what you're saying? Or? I, well, I actually have a question. Yeah, okay. yeah I'm just going to jump in. So, I'm going to, I'm going to tell a little story too. It's a true story. I'm not saying I have all the answers to your questions, but yeah, I'll try. I just want to know what you think, what yeah. you think as, a, as a, a biblical person, what you would think of this. So I'm mm -hmm. from the state of Ohio. Okay. Abortion's actually illegal there now. Um, I moved here because my mom lives here. There was a 10-year-old girl from my hometown who got raped by her father, and she became pregnant at 10 years old, and they refused her ability to have an abortion. And now uh, a young girl who's 10 years old, she's like not, like a 10-year-old body, the reason why we promote sex education, right, is because we know that a 10-year-old body isn't able to host life. Like it's not physically able, you're a little girl, like you haven't even hit puberty yet, and she was forced to carry that baby to term, and now that's something she's going to have to live with for the rest of her life, and like that she's going to pass away. So like, there's so many children around the world who are forced to carry to term, and sometimes they die because of it, so, so what, do you, what do you think God would say about that, because that's not in the Bible. What's not in the Bible? The, the stories of the countless children who are... Um, well, there there are stories, uh, well, historical stories of moms who who died giving birth to their children, and and moms who beg, well, women who beg God to give them children, who um, and were grieved that God didn't give them children because they were barren, and then God did bless them with children, and you even had uh, what was it, um, 
sisters that fought over, you know, because uh, they wanted they wanted more children. You had even sisters in Genesis that were fighting like they wanted more children. And but it it, it really comes down to that God says you shall not murder, and God doesn't make mistakes. That rape is sin, and we should put the rapist to death. And that's biblically, and we even have uh, laws in, in, in this country that the rapist, I don't, I'm not sure like, uh, what Wisconsin law would say, like you put the rapist to death, it should be put to death. Um, and, and, that, and that's wrong, you know, because guess what, they're going to they're gonna be encouraged to keep, to keep raping women or, or girls. And so put the rapist to death, not the innocent baby. And Christians should be coming alongside the mom and help her. And, and, but no matter how young she is, it, if God puts a child in her in her body, that's that child's not mistake. God didn't make a mistake. We just have to, we have to trust God. Hmm? I, I don't. Do you have sisters? Uh, no, no sisters, no. Nieces, nephews? I, I have, I ha yeah, I have a um, a child who um, was murdered. I don't know if, if the child was a boy or girl, niece or nephew. I, I am an uncle. Baby. So how did that child grow to be a 10-year-old? What's that? Tell her is that to that to this baby is a blessing. I, I, now I know that this well, culture. Oh, well, hold, hold on. Can, 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 I, can I can I can answer? I would rather go to can, hell can, than carry. Can, baby can answer the question? Can I answer the question? Because um, because I, I know this country. I know this country. This culture hates this answer because people think that children conceived in, in rape are the devil himself. Uh, that's what people think. That's the child of the devil. You know? Children. Well, no, people think they're like, how dare you um, think that this, that this child should not be murdered. That's what people think. It's not maybe the words they use, but, but to, to answer the question um, that we should love the child, we should love willing, the... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to interject. Are you willing yeah, to yeah. adopt the children who are in the foster care system being beaten and raped right now? Um, because yeah. when, when women are not So you're not advocating for the children in the foster care system right now. So, okay. Why are you not also showing up the kids who are being used in foster care? Well, I actually, generally I show a picture of a, a baby who's been murdered in the womb, the actual pictures of them. This is a drawing, but... No, I'm talking about after the drawing. Why are you not Well, because people don't shout, you know, in the streets. Um, That's because they, nobody has a voice for those children. Oh, right. a lot, a lot of people do, and but you, I, because I hear people shouting in the streets to murder children in the womb. That people don't oh, shout. People don't say that. People oh, actually, they do people all, people the all the time, all the time, all the time. It's actually a Wisconsin law and basic human biology and science that no, at the moment of. At the well, I've studied it. Okay, but do you have a degree? I don't need to have a degree to, to know what the science says. I've researched it. You can, you know, open up books and no, a, a basic human biology and common sense that when a woman becomes pregnant, she becomes pregnant with a child. Plus, you said with the law, it's not always consistent with morals, but then using the argument that it is defined by law. Yeah, Wisconsin law statute, I think it's 9401, that says that at the moment of fertilization. Uh, every well, I'm just saying that the, the law says these are human beings. Now, the law does allow for them to be murdered, but it says they're human beings at the moment of fertilization. And even if you look up the, li the I think the Library of uh, National Library of Medicine, uh, it, it can be. You're quoting the law like it's in the kind of fact. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm just, I'm just, well, I'm just giving you di different sources that, that affirm that. That's how the law is created. What's that? I'm a law student, I'm so sorry. No women um, yeah, that's written by a random person. You know, that's what it is. It doesn't even, and we're not even voting in laws based on popular vote because 
because that we're not a we're not a pluralist state. I mean, I don't know what that means, but. Do you, know, do you know, have you read the Bible? Do you preach for a specific denomination? Uh, not, not really. I mean, sometimes I, I, I guess the way I, I, I preach uh, can lean a little bit more towards Calvinism, but not, not especially. Do you know the difference between the Protestant church and the Baptist? I haven't studied that thoroughly, just a little bit. So why do you feel that you can speak on behalf of God if you're not Um, Because I, st I read the Bible every day. Hey, but there's so many and, Well, justified as well. I'm justified by the blood of Christ, but like I, I, I tell people, like examine what I'm saying with the Word of God. If it's what the Word of God says, then take it to heart. If it's not, throw it out the window. Well, and, people can interpret the Word of God differently, though, right? What's that? People can interpret the Word of God differently. People have different relations with God people. So why do you think? Well, I mean, I mean, Christians, they, they universally agree on uh, many things, and like God says, you shall not murder, that's pretty black and white. But, but Anabaptists actually support women's um, reproductive rights. And you mean murdering babies? I mean, let's just call what it is, a spade, spade. You mean murdering children? Abortion? Children? Yeah, ab abortion. Okay, so, um, I, I'm just, I just don't like it when we use euphemisms for so murder. I've been you know? in a foster care system where there's children. I think I would agree. Uh, I yeah, I, abuse children, I, yeah, I would, I would, I would. I would Take them in their homes. Okay. That's not well, I'm, just, I'm just like saying, I know, I, I know Christians who take their children in their homes out of the foster care system. No, 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 Murder them in the so womb. if you want, and yeah. instead of murdering them when they're 10 years old and they have to experience it and feel it, if you care about the life of these children, advocate for them after they've been born. Well, I gotta advocate, just before, I gotta advocate for when they're, that's going yeah. to limit, that's going to lower the rate of abortion. No, not really. <laughs> yeah. We're not saying that one bit, so you can not know. We're, all human beings are made of God's thoughts. No, uh, well, that's a baby. You can speak, you know, no. The doctor should do what he can, everything he can to preserve both lives. He has two patients. Yes, but what if there's no way? Sometimes there's. You do what you can. You do everything you can. No. That's what I'm saying. He should do everything he can to preserve both lives. Everything that he can. He says, I can. I'm only physically able by the will of God to save one of them. Then, then you do what you yes. can, and if one dies or both die, then let it not be what the doctor did intentionally. Uh, let it, he does, because the, the Hippocratic Oath is do no harm. So you have two patients who do everything you can. If, if they die in the process, they die. But let it not be because you intentionally murdered either one of them. Well, shouldn't we take every measure to prevent that? Well, the, 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 he does everything that he can knowing that they're both going to die. Well, he does well you, you don't know. Harm. I mean, you, you, doctors are often wrong. Right? There are many children that, that, that actually are born that the doctor says that they, that they, that they, that they should have been murdered. I don't say always wrong, I said some, some, he said, yeah. So I guess it's better listen. What's that? Uh, I look at many other sources. <laughs> I also have a degree too. Yeah. No, 
but I've, I've started. Okay, do you actually want to listen or just? Have you studied everything? Because you seem to have an opinion on everything, right? Well, I, no, none of us have studied everything, right? And, but I, that's. I don't. There, okay. The what? The academic literature is overwhelmingly left. What, what do you mean? Overwhelmingly understanding of the woman's rights. A woman's rights to what? To get all of the resources they need Just to prevent them from dying. What rights are you talking about? Well, if you. So, I mean, it's 50%. So let, let's, let's legalize bank robbery because people are going to do it anyway. We should legalize bank robbery. We should okay, legalize so grand theft auto because people are going to do it anyway. Why don't I take Social Security benefits for my child from the minute I'm pregnant? Because we have a country that's inconsistent. That we, have, we have a country. Uh, now, there's this, this sort of inconsistency. Um, that we, we live in a schizophrenic society that we do actually have laws, believe it or not. Uh, you can look this up if you like. Because, uh, the, uh, we have federal law called, I think it's called the... Unborn Victims of Violence Act. It's the 2004 law President Bush signed into law. It actually goes by the, also the name Lacey and Connor's law. That goes back to, I think, 2004, where Scott Peterson in California murdered his wife like Lacey and their unborn child Connor. So we literally have a federal law named partially after an unborn child. Why? Connor. Why? It, uh, well, I'm giving you secular sources, you know, that don't even, wouldn't even, you know, have, have a godly worldview, and that this country actually affirms the, the life of the baby in some in some cases. It's schizophrenic, but it does. Arguably, Just, I have more of a godly view. What's that? I, I, I have more of a godly view than you do. Okay. Because I believe in egalitarianism. I believe okay. in. Christians should they need help, Christian, and we do come alongside them and help them, and we build even a on Amazon to, to help them, to buy gifts. It's great. Yeah. But and, and we take them into our homes. Without indoctrinating. Well, everyone is indoctrinated by something. It's just what you're indoctrinated with. Everyone's brainwashed with What are you being brainwashed with? Everyone is. Oh, this was actually outside my sphere. Yeah. If you're open to other belief systems, you'll be able to defend, you'll be able to use you argue against them. And I think most Christians don't even begin to understand the leftist point of view uh, or any I, other yeah. religion. I, w I would agree that a lot of professing church Christians and church goers, that they don't really know how to defend the worldview. And that, I'm not I'm not saying most Christians, but, but professing Christians, that they, a lot of them couldn't argue their way out of a paper bag, that they... That they, because they haven't, they have not really. They don't, they don't even read the Bible every day. They don't study the Bible, which is sad. I mean, and you need to study academia. That's what you do. Yeah, study. and and actually, I I study like, um, the, the different arguments that have been brought up. I study those things. Now I don't have an answer for everything because not everyone knows everything. God does, but because I because I hear everything you know on, on, when I'm preaching on the streets and and I want I, I study these things because I want to know more. And that should be all of us. You know, we want to know more because I. Because like there are things that have been brought up today that I don't know. Um, I know maybe a little bit about it, but I don't. I can't give the greatest answer because I need to study it more. Like, What's that? Yeah. Because because I'm not a conservative, but I understand conservative arguments. Okay. Because so, you listen to them, you read them. Yes, I listen to That's them good. all the time. Yeah. I have Fox News on all the time just to understand how it is. But I don't. I don't agree with them because it's logically not sound. Uh, do you, Do you read the Bible? Of it, I, okay. um, I, I mean, I've read the Upanishads, I've read yeah. the Quran, I've read this and that. Yeah. And honestly, the Abrahamic religions, they overlap a lot, and I find it absolutely beautiful. But my issue is the control mm -hmm. and the one-sidedness. 
I, I believe it's narcissistic and it's a problem with our country. Yeah. And I, I, I do like that you're open minded, but definitely look into other religions. Look oh, into yeah, I do. <laughs> I have for years. Okay, well, look, <laughs> Study into, them. look into feminist literature and uh, literature that has to do with women's experiences, especially my life. Uh, were, you, were, you, were, you, were you done? Or? Oh, there's, lo there's a lot of things I don't know. There's some... No, no, I never said that. I said I have a degree, not a medical degree. Okay, did you want an answer? Like, or you just, you just sound kind of arrogant right now. Uh, no, a arrogant. Yeah. Yeah, I, and I, that's why I'm here. Like, yeah. you know, I'm trying. Okay, can you slip around? I just yeah. Okay, now I, I will say because a lot of people they see us and lose their mind because they don't really read it, study it, and then and then you can because people they don't really think that way in that way. You know? Yeah. Now, before you know. Very thought provoking, is it not? What's that? Yeah. How do those play together? Let's see, th this is a good way to ask it. You're, you're reasonable and respectful. Yeah. Now this, okay. This right here. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Wendy. Oh, sir, you can drop your pocket there. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Wendy today. Thank you. Okay, one, one moment, I'll, I'll address that. The forecast had a lot of wind today, so they also have to do this. Or right, here. Okay, let's bring it back. Oh, yeah, so you listen to the people who are doing it. Do you know what Kobe is? Of what? 48 hours in a four? Do you want to sing around? Do you know what, like. Okay, now, now you, you're wondering about this, right? Here we go. So, this, people use the same arguments today to justify my body, my choice. Um, I don't, you've all had a chance to read it, right? And, and to study it. So, pe so, people use the same argument today, my body, my choice, as they did in the days of chattel slavery. My property, my prerogative. Don't, don't like abortion, don't get one. Don't like slavery, don't buy a slave. We use the same thing today. In that day, and, and back in the 1700s, s uh, the societal norm was slavery, chattel slavery was okay. It was okay to get to buy someone, treat them like property, chattel, to enslave them, torture them, and murder them. So I have a, I have a question. Okay, one, one at a time. I have a question. Yeah, one, one, at, one at a time. Let, let, let it. Okay, can I ask a question? Yeah, go ahead. So, slavery, what you did, you think about it, you think about it, you think about it, it wasn't illegal because it was bad, it wasn't illegal because it wasn't economically good, right? Because people were fighting for wages. If there's slavery, you can't like, get people who are not slaves to do a job. You had to be like a plantation owner to like make money. So basically, that's one of the reasons why slavery really was like banned, so that everybody had an equal choice, free market, economy, and stuff. So my question is, what are you guys doing to make sure, like, to get support against abortion? Like, if I do have a kid, for example, I don't want that kid. Yeah. I would give them to like an orphanage, yeah. and I'm gonna make their life healthy because the orphanage system isn't good. Like, what are you guys doing about that? Well, we're educating people, giving them the law of God that they would actually love the children God gives them and so, like, protect them. For example, uh -huh. wait, wait, wait. actually, example, it is. It is. If I have a kid, or like if I have unprotected sex, right? Oh, don't. <laughs> don't. I mean. If I'm dumb enough, you can't really say don't go like... Sure you can. I mean, I'm going to tell I'll get married. But what if? What if? Like, I, that's, I that's, that's how I dress it. That's how I don't. I, I, oh, I'm a god. I would love yeah. to have the privilege to decide for myself whether or not I want to go have sex. But not everyone has that. Yeah, that, that's... You mean for those who are raped? Yeah. Well, but wait, um, wait to have sex until you're married, you know, when you actually choose. I don't have that choice. But... I don't have that choice. Well, then that guy's probably as much Christian as that that guy who couldn't stop cursing 
that was you know over here for a long long time not, again again not everyone who says they're a Christian are, is a Christian not everyone and like how do you know we're Christians well go, go by what the Bible says well, you said you go by what the Bible says Well, what people the slight uh, plantation owners? Yeah, yeah, oh, we just but one, one but one one thing um, I actually what there, verse in the Bible says that it's not okay to have sex with someone without their consent. Well, it says it talks about um, rape, and the Bible actually says that the rapist should be put to death, put him to death, and that's um, that's a death penalty for for the rapist. If, if only we would apply that in, in America, you rape someone, you're, you get put to death. Not even prison, you're going to be put to death. Is that? What about fake rape charges? Fake rape. Yeah, if somebody accuses them and everybody's dying, well, that's why you, that's why, an innocent person. That's why you have a court of law, a trial, I mean, to determine the guilty. So that murder was murder was all those vices. That's not murder to, to actually... Um, that's not murder to, to, to take the life... Uh, for the government to take the life of someone who's guilty. That you know, that's a just punishment for the government to do it, right? And the government is flawed. It's oh yeah, oh, well, well, we both we agree on that. It's very flawed. Yeah. It's, 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 it's stopping me from going into the government and placing my biases on other people and voting to have yeah. them killed. Oh, I mean, you can vote for that. You can but you can pursue that. Right? Well, if you pursue. If I decided. Yeah. Say a baby's gonna have a baby, we do it all the time. Miserable, yeah. Miserable. But it was not meant to do God's job. Only God can do that. And it, there's so many parts in the Bible where he talks about God. You cannot put the government in this position. Some of us are actually are in that position when, in Romans 13 that they are, they are not to bear, to bear their soul in vain, but they are to. Um, let me read it real quick. Gotta be careful of the wind here. Oh, well, I want to read this little digital break. What's that? Even citing a lot as a reason why abortions are bad. God's law. God's law. Man's law, yeah. And it was evil. And we, rec we recognize that today. They didn't back then. Okay, so you recognize now that when they had the law, even though the law otherwise, they should. Because that's the moral thing. Slavery was not the moral thing. In this society, it was. People thought it was okay. Most people thought it was okay. Do you think that it's possible for people to have morals that's not bad? Well, they have no standard to base it on, no, nothing objective. Okay, but what about a person who's got a whole life and they've donated to charity? Do you not believe? Oh, hold on, one more time. Hell outside of Jesus Christ. I, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I, it's why you know, one at a time, and it's yeah. and it's trying to answer every, all questions, and I yeah. like answer them all satisfactorily to the person's satisfaction. But go, go, go. My question go is like, come on over. Like, I'm. I love you know what? You know, someone who's who's uh, you know older and wiser, <laughs> right? Because I'm I'm still young, pal. Yeah. <laughs> someone who knows. Oh, don't be sexist, man. You're important. Man. What? I need to be. A, I need to be a woman. No. To make people believe in abortion. Well, actually, they they were this past week. Uh, there was a big group of us that went to Tulsa. Glad they're not always able to come with us. Today's just two of us. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
there, there are many uh, more pregnancy uh, health centers. But we should not fund some of the murderous people. I'm not talking about pregnancy. I'm talking about like after the kid, like there's a kid, right? Right. How are you positively impacting the kid's life? Because like if I decide to have a kid and not an abortion, and I can't like think that I'm capable of having that kid or like making raising that kid myself. How are you guys helping me raise them with that yeah, child? By, by preaching the gospel and giving them the word of God. I mean, that's yeah. subjective. Like, there's so many sects in really. Christianity, Lutheran, non-Catholic, Catholic. Yeah. How do that kid know which is the right one? The first person who approaches... The Bible. That's... I mean, there's different versions of the Bible. <laughs> which one is correct? Well, we give people gospel and, yes, we, 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 and we feed them. Yeah. But, we, but we do what we can. Well, I can't do everything. I can't, I can't do everything. Yeah. But I wouldn't you rather be I mean, that's still actually Oh, but we do, but we can't, like, feed people 24-7 and not give them the gospel. People need the gospel. In all and of the world, the Quran is a So, I mean, we, we can only do so many things. I don't know. Oh, one at a time. Like, one at a time. I, I know, like, would you adopt religion my child is an ideology. If that's the only alternative. I would point you to Christians, to families that, 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 that you could bring. No, but I'm, I'm a single guy. I, I'd rather it be better for that baby to be in a... Well, because if you're pregnant, that's your child. And but if you, if, but if, if you want a family that can adopt a child, I get you in contact with them. I don't have a family. I'm by myself. What connections do you have? Do you have a list of people? I know families that yeah that I uh, network with Christians here in Wisconsin. That and I could see you know. Oh no 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 no! They, they would not do that. They they would we would find a couple that, that could bring your child into their home. Of yeah. these, like, imagery yeah. of, like, dead children, like, children for the women who may have had miscarriage and gifts their children for them. And I give that child to you guys to take care of. Why are you not we, we do. Them? We, we offer to them. Oh, we offer to them. So well, it's hard to carry everything on you. Like, why have you prioritized the videos for bringing those resources um, because I can't hold 8,000 signs. I, I'm not an octopus. And because this is the majority of murders that take place in America, babies that are murdered in the womb in the first trimester. Women who think that their only option is an abortion, why aren't you giving them the I do. If they need help, then I'm like, okay, that's what let's talk about. I'll give you. Well, you're welcome to come bring it because I can't hold everything. I got two arms. <laughs> I just answered your question. What's that? What this is doing is just yeah. bringing the actual reaction. It's taking truth. So culture hates truth. You were standing out here yeah. advertising families who wanted to adopt the children and said, please don't abort your baby, this family wants it. I would not have come up to you and had this problem. Okay. But this is a reaction. Did you say that? That offends people and it hurts them. Well, you truth. You have to be able to yeah. approach it in a way that God's truth. You have to be able to approach it in a way that is not the way of God. Because I am a church guy, so many people get turned away because they feel that they're not accepted and they're not welcome and they have no other choice. Okay, so you need to do it from a loving perspective and you need to give people resources because I see this and I see, oh, if I lose my baby, I'm a murderer. But I'm not seeing what are my other options. Well, if you murder your baby, you're a murderer, but like, not saying miscarriage that you're a murderer, no. It's that, that murder, the definition of murder is that you, you have malice and a forethought. You plan it and you hate that person. And so we're not saying a miscarriage or, you know, that's murder. No, because I, I know a mom recently that she's had three miscarriages. She's not a murderer. She grieves over those children. That's not a murderer. That's a mom who loves her children. I don't know of anything that's more productive. I, you don't, you don't know that. I, I think people are thinking about it. Everyone, everyone I think people are thinking about it. You, we're texting our group chat right now talking about how we feel like you're full of shit. And I'm so sorry to say that. But so there's some had you have come out here with resources, so people would have like come up and like, oh, thank you for this. Can we post these in our building so that yeah. people know what their resources are? And then you would not only be doing God's word, but you would be doing God's actions. It says in the Bible, you cannot do one without the other. You must do one. And I, I told you the help that we offer. If someone needed that help. You need to display that. Well, I, I, I get it. I don't think it's very, I don't say it for all. It's people hate the truth, people hate children. I've seen that. I know what it looks like. I don't need you to show it to me. I'm going to be so honest. A lot of people see it. A lot of people need to see it. This is a college campus that people who hate God. Yeah. That nobody ever has to see. I, I pray that this whole culture would, would repent of hating God and hating children and that it would, we would not be wiped off the face of the earth because this culture is in rebellion to God. 
That's why we're here, because people, they're in rebellion to God, they need Jesus Christ. Whether we agree or disagree on this, people need Jesus Christ. That's ultimately what we're here. Jesus Christ would be the resources that would save that baby. Yeah, and that, 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 that's, why we, that's why we got the Bible. That's why we preach. So what is the Bible doing for the baby after it's born? Is it feeding it? Is it giving it a home? Yeah, the Christians that? that follow it do, yeah. you're just sitting here and you're reading it. What the fuck is that doing? Well, it's giving you the truth. It's giving you the truth. The truth of what? That my baby's going to die because you're not giving me the resources? Well, yes, I already told you the resources. You know, that, that. Where? Where is it on here? You're telling me. I, what I, about the women who are falsifying and not approaching you because they're too scared? If, if they need help, come talk to me. I'll help them. I'll help them. How is this how is this in You cannot tell people how they feel. Too many of them are intimidating. Okay? Too many other women are intimidating. And they're not going to trust you and ask for resources. Okay? Yeah. Because they're scared of you. So you need to display your resources so that you're not just preaching God's word and you're not just pitching to show that you, you've read the Bible because then you're better than everyone else who has it. You need to show the resources and you need to do the work. You cannot just talk all day because nobody's hearing you. I don't believe that. I think people are hearing me. She was hearing me earlier. I didn't know anything about her. Was it Sam? Yeah, Sarah. She was texting her. in the group chat and she's like, this yeah. man is full of shit. Okay, like, well, nobody's she hearing was, you. She was listening earlier. She was thinking about it. She's saying that nobody's agreeing with you. Nobody's getting the message that you're doing. You don't know that. Because you're doing it from a place of judgment. So where well, are the you, resources? Well, thank you for your judgment. <laughs> where are the resources? <laughs> I already told you. I know people that, that, can, that can help, you know. Yeah, but I don't need a sign that, that says it. That because people on this campus think it's okay to do this to babies. Who don't have time to approach you. Okay, what about the people who are on their way to class? Well, obviously they don't need it that bad, right? Oh, they don't need it that bad. Did you have any questions? What's that? What's that? Yeah, I'm just saying that there's all these ads to you. Well, I do, and I could look into it. I mean, there's so many things to say. The way they do it. Why what? Why what? It's very just. I do not see any justifications in uh, pro pro choice women, and there there are none. I don't see a justification to murder a helpless human being. I mean, we well, well, talked can you about even, any other circumstances that would make abortion like necessary? You know, like a toxic not, pregnancy, like well, that's, any kind yeah. of detachment syndrome. And I know you're going to say that that's not what you embody as true abortion, but in the eyes of the law. Because of things like these religious ideas, that is what is constituted by law as an abortion. So we're we're stopping this healthcare. And I know you're not saying, man. <laughs> how is this? I know you're saying how is this? You know, scary to look at on a college campus. Yeah, when people support it. It's it's the words and it's the words. images that you're displaying. Saying abortion, you're saying terminating a baby is murder. And so anybody Greetings. who needs your help is not going to come to you because they're automatically seeing these words that people come to me all the time and um, like negative connotations not everyone sees it the way that you do yeah. you should be able to all you can do is speak truth to people if they don't receive it but this is the way that one, one at a time one, one at a time you can convey the truth in a different way without having to look like this and be so intimidating is what we're saying I don't saying. think it's intimidating at all well, well you nobody should. not everyone agrees with you you're oh, not God you don't know everything I didn't say that you're wanting us to be reactionary towards you you do not want to help women that. find the right way, find God's way. If you wanted women to okay, find the right way, you would have that. that posted on the poster instead of a goddamn picture of a dead baby because most that. of us women have fucking seen it already. No, not everyone's seen it. I talk to people who've never seen a murdered baby before. Well, and I wish I had seen it when I was younger. Clearly and concisely, I was mm -hmm. going to say this. You should yeah. be able to explain back to me what your counter, what your counter argument, argument hers are saying. And I don't think most most pro lifers. I don't agree with. Uh, I, I don't actually agree uh, with pro lifers. I don't actually, they can clearly and concisely understand the logic of where we're coming from. You know, because in, in an academia, you have to present both sides and yeah. bias, right? So if, maybe it will bring you closer to empathizing. If you understood all of these specific terms that you know are important, like I, I, to You can if it is a black and white no. issue. There's can't. many scientific reasons why a, a fetus inside a woman can kill her. A, a baby. Okay, but the fetus is a scientific term, and since you've studied biology, you should know that. And I know that fetus lives Latin for little one, and that these are human beings from the moment of fertilization. But that's what scientists use yeah. to define the baby yeah. when it's in the woman because a baby has different life, has different experience than babies outside of the womb. And, and, and we should, should not murder them. Oh, 
Oh, that's a very loving, non-judgmental. Oh, you thing. know how you talked me over your body. <laughs> oh, that would suck, what? right? Oh, you you that want you really to, you oppose the autonomy of babies in the womb? They should be murdered. Okay, in your opinion. Men should get vasectomies so that they can. No, 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 them. no, because God says to be fruitful, multiply, and fill the earth for couples, okay, but God right? Says not to do that before marriage. Vasectomies yeah. are reversible. So, so, you have a so until you get married. Uh, no, because I because so if, if the Lord you know has a marriage for me, that I want to I'll have as many children as He blesses me with. But and a culture that and a culture that hates children. And a culture that hates children. Well, no, it's it's no it's that a vasectomy. You're saying children are a blessing, right? And no, I believe that I saying. believe they you're are a blessing. A temporary hold on your ability to produce sperm. You can bring that back and you can produce sperm and do it in God's image and His way after you get married. That is how the surgery works. You get it. You put it on hold. You're saying, oh, I'm not producing sperm until marriage. Then you reduce you reverse the surgery when you are married and you are ready to have God's children in His eyes and His image. So what would the purpose of doing that be? When to, I, what, so it, that men stop. who rape women yeah. cannot get them pregnant without their fucking consent. Okay, well, again, put the rapist to death. Okay, but that They're doesn't prevent happening. it from happening. Well, it's still it, happening. Why are you not protecting well, women before they get raped? Do you not give a Well, because I don't know where all crime happens. I know where this crime happens. These crimes happen. I know the places where babies are being murdered, so I go there. I was there yesterday to, to defend the most defenseless. That many of you support murdering. Not for sure all of you, but many of you support murdering. And what's that? What, what, why, no, what we're asking is why do you not care about the women before they're raped? Why are you not preventing them? Uh, we do. That's why we give people the gospel and we help them. And we, we can't we can't do er, I can't do everything with one person. Yeah, no, the actually actually yeah, people get saved and they don't do those horrendous things anymore, right? Anymore, but then they've they've still done it. Yeah, but they get saved and They're not Christians. Yeah, except that you're saying that they're doing that. So, which is basically the same thing. Uh, no, no. It's her fault for not like believing in Jesus. Okay, when did I ever say that? Well, you said that if, if somebody has God, that they will be protected. Well, no, I'm, I'm yeah. saying when people get saved, they don't they don't do those things anymore. They don't rape people, they don't murder people, they don't steal. They do. Yeah, they do. Stop it from happening. No, they don't. <laughs> you are finding the rapists and you are helping them, but you are not getting to the people. Not when you put them to death. Rape. What are you doing to stop it? I preach the gospel to a culture that's in rebellion to God, and and those who get saved, they won't do those that wicked things so anymore. Wow. That does a lot more than you think. Well, that that really yeah, it, yeah. Were preaching to my rapist. Did they fail? Were they not preaching God's word good enough? Well, I, there are a lot of preachers who aren't of God, and I mean, the, okay, you had you had one here earlier. With their best. They were preaching better than you. I well, that, that doesn't mean that people get saved. I mean, I preach to people all the time. And, so and, then, and, what are you doing in action to yeah. help these people? Because obviously, what you're saying is that word is not enough. Some people will no, not no, it is, but people hate God. Yeah, people, hate you God. are saying that yeah. people will not be reached. So, what actions are you? No, doing? no, they are in reached. In addition. So then why was he not reached when he was being No, reached? I'm saying they, they, they're rich with the word of God, but they reject it because they... Okay, they, so then we're, what action yeah. are you doing to help the people who are affected by those who are refusing God's word? You are not doing any action. You are sitting here and you are doing words, but you are not doing a goddamn thing to help people. Why do you keep, you are you keep saying JD, man? Out there. You are putting your words out there and there are people who why, are why, you, why are you getting upset now? You were calm earlier. Why, why are you getting upset? Why the fuck shouldn't she be upset? Because that was my goddamn baby and I didn't have a fucking right to save it. Okay. Don't get upset, man. Don't just throw stuff at the sign. Well, Don't get angry. Like Fuck your sign. You're a narcissist. That's what you No. Are. And why that's are all of your materials only preaching to, like, all of your pamphlets and all the materials yeah. you've been giving out today only go towards women? None of them say anything about what the man should do with his baby, which it is his baby because yeah. you need the sperm to create that baby, but all of the pamphlets say yeah. it's but a woman's right to... Well, one at a time. the job to stop the sperm, right? Yeah. It's only the woman's fault. Like, the no, we're not saying that. The baby, well, not the man. Well, you don't want them to get a vasectomy to stop it. No, because so God says the children are a blessing. Falls onto the woman, right? No. Correct? And your no, pamphlets it's... say that a woman should take the responsibility to be a mother, but your pamphlet never says the man should take was the it, responsibility to be a mother. Was it say? Can you point it out to me? Uh, I don't have the pamphlet in my hand. Oh, yeah, well, that's what when you, when you did, so. When I looked at it, it said the woman should take yeah. the responsibility to be the mother and to, to love her child. But it didn't say that about men. Well, they should both They should both love... What's that? So why are you not they should both love their children. But you don't have that. Why you're you only there? preaching Why to the women. Only preaching at women. No, yes, I preach to men all the time. You know, I man up, stop being a coward. What are you doing stuff. here? I'm right here. You're not saying shit to me. Well, because um, there's is, pe there, there are other people and here, and you've been rather arrogant so far. You don't, you don't really seem like you want to listen. 
You see that? Thematically, have had the power. That's why we're. Well, what power? Uh, what power have I had? Power uh, systematic. I mean, I've I've been listening and, and talking law? to you and, and engaging in dialogue. Be anecdotal. Look at the law. I ha yeah, I do. Who overwhelms? Who contributes to this? What's who overwhelms you're a voter? We each have power as a voter. Yeah. yeah. And you're voting for these laws that are getting women and children murdered. Not just um, not no. just these babies. There are other lives that matter too. Yeah, including my nephew who was murdered over them? 20 years what ago. Are and you don't care about that. Help them. Not your words. Your fucking actions. What are you doing to help them? I can only do so much, man. I can't do everything, and neither can you. Well, and my system. nephew was murdered over 20 years ago. I mean, you care about that. I do talk about it. I've already mentioned it today. And that, that's actually one of the reasons why I do this. Is because my nephew or niece, I don't know if the child was a boy or girl, was murdered over 20 years ago. And did, that, you, did you cast out your sibling for... for I didn't... Uh, they, uh, he didn't even know about it. He found out later. And I found out about years after that. And it grieved me and I, I found out that this happens to little babies every day, thousands of times. And I knew I had to take action to end this. And I knew I couldn't bring, and I still can't bring my, my nephew or niece back, but I can do something to make sure other children are not what murdered. Are they're so they're the protected do, doing this. Would be to mm -hmm. go forth and to help these people in their system that, so like, instead of preaching about abortion on a college campus where obviously students are having an overwhelmingly negative reaction to you, wouldn't it be better to go into orphanages and make sure that these children can survive until their adulthood and get the resources that they need to go to homeless yeah. shelters Why and make sure that there's a social worker doing the things that Jesus was saying that we should do. Okay, but this isn't doing shit. Right. This is not doing okay, a goddamn I, I, I disagree. So why are you not becoming a social worker and going into the hospitals and helping these families connect with adoptions? Because I... Sorry, he would be out there helping people. Yeah. I, I, I'm... Following God's I'm, image. You hold on, hold okay, on. One, one, one yellow minute time. You put your body where your mouth is. You're not doing anything. You're just talking. You're talking. You're talking. Okay, that's your opinion. One minute time. I can't hear. I can't hear more than one yelling at me. Jesus didn't say stand up and stand He said, "Show the bloody city her abominations." Show, go forth and show with your actions is what the Bible says. Faithful that this this is our actions. We're giving God to the people who are in the world of God. You're saying words. If I wasn't doing anything, you'd be walking by. You wouldn't waste your time talking to us. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. No one's looking at you. No one cares about this fucking shit. Okay, then why waste your then why waste your time talking to a stupid person? We're only because I have had friends who have killed themselves because. People like you. I've had a, I had a friend kill himself years ago too, That's right? Anecdotal. And oh, because okay, they but that abortion? doesn't make it no. justified. Just because right. you've experienced loss too does not invalidate my loss. Okay, well, we've all suffered loss, right? Ignorance is willful, is willfully not yeah. learning about something. Now you can say it's simply not knowing Is it all of you? Ignorance is willfully not knowing something. I have read the Bible. I told you I have a certificate in okay. sermons. Okay. So why are you saying that I'm ignorant? You are just deciding that I'm not a Christian because I have not read the Bible and digested it in the same way that you have. Well, you said you read the Bible, yeah, yes. and 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 so I mean, I'm so I should agree with everything that you say because we have read the same. Well, scripture. agree, agree with what the Bible says. I agree with the Bible. Well, is that what you're saying? You have to. All you have to do is be a Christian, is read the Bible, and understand. It. You don't have to do actions uh, to help people. You don't have to actually. You don't have to actually. Have you read the Bible? Have you read the Bible? Have you just read the words, or have you read the Bible to understand, or have you read the Bible to be able to go and spit it out at other people and make yourself look like a big strong man? Because that's not, not you. Doing. Because what are you doing to help these children? I'm seeing nothing. When is the last time you went to the hospital and helped the women who are giving birth, who have nowhere to go, who are homeless? When is the last time that you've gone and you fed the babies who are starving on the streets? When the last time that you voted in legislature to help the people who are starving and dying? You have not done a goddamn thing but stand here. Are you just going to assume what I'm doing and not doing? Or you well, well, you're not that doing was the question. Yeah, no, I'm asking. Okay. When? I said, that's well, asking I do. I, I do things, but I can't when do everything. None of you can do everything. When was the last time? Uh, okay, deep breath. Deep, deep breath. Time? Calm down. You don't have to yell. When me. was the last okay. time? I don't. When I don't. Was the last like, time? Can I answer your question? Yes. Okay. I. Okay. I've not been in a hospital in, in, in a while, um, but I do. I, I have fed the, the homeless. I've given them stuff, and and um, I have helped. Um, when was like, the last time? I'm not asking have you. I'm saying when was the last time. I don't know, like, you know, some, some days ago, I don't know, you know keep the timeline of, of exactly... Okay, but I'm not standing here, I'm not preaching. Every um, day I do 
community service. I have done 14 yeah. hours in the past two weeks. Yeah. I'm not standing here preaching. I'm going out to actually help the people. Do not think yeah. that that's what God would have wanted instead. This is helping people. I'm not people. standing here. I'm not standing here and I'm being like, guys, you should not rape or you will go to hell. I'm not doing that. I'm going to help the people who have been raped. Okay? Yeah. And that's what God would have wanted. That's what Jesus preached. Yeah. He said, go forth and show so, what your action, not go forth yeah. and yell at a bunch of college students about what they should and shouldn't do with their body. You mean like you're yelling at me? Yes, because you, you, want that. you want no, that. You want that. This is validating you. This you're is showing here. you why, that why you're rejecting your word. Because I get assaulted word, sometimes. That's what you want. But I have read the word and oh. I have digested it. I am not rejecting God's word. I am rejecting you yours. Me. Because I shouldn't have to agree with every single one of your opinions just because you've read that scripture. Because I've read the scripture. I understand it. Yeah. I do not have to agree with you. I agree no. with my relationship with God. It is yeah. my personal relationship with God. It yeah. is not your job to dictate that for me. It is God's job to dictate that for me. Not yours. Not some random ass white man who's not doing anything to help the babies that he so much cares about. I'm, I'm, I'm speaking up for babies that, that you support You're murdering. You're speaking up for them? What are you doing for them after the fuck they're born? Yeah. Yeah, what are you doing? What did you do for my baby that died? What did you do for it? I can't bring him back. So I can't. I, I can't bring doing? back my nephew who was what murdered. What is the point? What are you doing you for my nephew who yelling. was murdered? You are just giving. And you're yelling at me right now, man. You are not doing anything. I'm not yelling at you. We understand. You do not give a oh, fuck time. about the people that one, you're advocating for. Time. You do not give yeah. a goddamn fuck. You do not care. And you are I, pretending like you yeah. care so that you can believe. You can go home tonight and you can be like, "Oh, I'm going to heaven. I'm going to heaven." Because of Jesus Christ. Because of the fuck about the people who sin and are going to hell. I don't care if they're starving on the streets. I don't care if they're losing their children. I don't care if they're being raped. Because I am going to heaven because I am doing the right thing and I'm telling people to do the right thing and I don't give a fuck about what's happening to them in their personal life and I'm not going to do anything for them. Because I'm telling the word of God. That's all that matters. I'm saying the words. That's all that matters. I don't have to act on it. I don't have to act on it. I don't have to help people because I can't do everything. So what I'm going to do instead of actually helping people is I'm going to stand up here and act like I'm helping people by reading a book to them instead of going into the hospitals and reading it with them and supporting them and giving them my money and working hard to make sure that they're not going through hell on earth so that maybe, maybe they'll have just a little bit of hope that heaven is real and that they want to go there instead of just killing themselves because this world is shit and it's already hell. Yeah, because of you. Fuck like you. Why are you cherry picking the Bible anyway? Also, with no. the with the translations, yeah. they changed pedophile to homosexual. Did you know that? No. The Vatican did that. No, oh, the Vatican, Wait, but they're, so they're, they're not. Christian. I don't know. Have you okay. studied Hebrew as the language? You know, yeah. Have you read the Bible in the original Hebrew text? Well, th this is a translation of the original. No, 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 not the translation. Have you yeah. read Hebrew? Have you studied? No, it? I don't know the so language. So then you don't know the original translation. Okay. You don't know. You just know what people have translated for you. Okay. So please go and educate yourself. Please actually start living the word of God, not just saying it. You have to live Ma it. Ma'am, you've taken God's name in vain several you. times in this conversation. That's and and while you've yelled, yelled That's at me. That's not God's yeah. name. God is not God's name. It is Hebrew. There is a Hebrew name for God. And if you studied the Bible, you would know it. And I have not said it a single time. Yes, you, 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 you said GD several times and used other five God languages. Is Christians don't curse. That's the yeah. English translation of it. Do you yeah. even know his real name? What is his yeah. real name? What is his real name? What is his real name? You want to know? Yeah, Yahweh, Elohim. Yes, and I have yeah. not said it in vain a single time. Yeah. yeah. Why you say GD? Because God is not his name. It is the English yeah. translation of it, and I have been educated to know the Hebrew. And even if it was said in vain, yeah. there's bigger fucking problems. Because I am going out That's there what I'm addressing. and I've been being murdered. the children. I got my teaching certificate. I'm taking care of the infants who have already been born. I taught in an infant classroom for two years. Yeah. For two years. I've done more than you have and I'm 21 years old. And we're defending babies in the womb who most people don't care about. You're not defending them. Like you're people. speaking words. How are you defending them? You're no, speaking. You're not doing anything. You're not a knight in shining armor. You're speaking words. Yeah. You're literally cherry picking the Bible. And before also, you say your name, the entire Old Testament gives a whole list of things that humans should not do. They shouldn't eat shellfish. They shouldn't consume pork. They shouldn't consume things with poops. They shouldn't wear mixed textiles like the polyester that your shirt is probably made out of. There's a whole list of things we shouldn't do. We shouldn't divorce. We shouldn't, um, if a man is to, or a woman, is to pleasure themselves, they're supposed to cut their hands off. If a person is to do things that are sin, the whole town is supposed to stop them to death. But we're choosing one issue that you believe is like morally 
man is walking through the woods, gets called bald by 42 children, and God sends two female bears to maul them to death. God kills an entire city full of people multiple times, kills the entire population of humans except for two people out of both. And he kills people in the Bible all the time for his own agenda. So for you to say that God specifically says, don't murder people. God says above all else to love your neighbors and not to judge other people because your judge, because God's judgment is the only thing that matters at the end of the day. So for you to come out here and to tell all these students to cast judgments upon them is doing everything that God said not to do. He said above all else, love your neighbor as yourself, which means unconditionally and despite the things that you might not agree with about their lives. Because there are so many things that you're saying today that go against the Bible, but because of the things that we're going to cherry pick and decide we want to hear, you're saying that it's okay. So I don't understand how what you're saying here is any more morally fair than any of the things that we've said today. Because it's really not. So what do you want me to address in what you just said? Why are you cherry picking this issue and not talking about any of the other things in life that are sins that you probably have partaken in? Um, because, well, for this, because this is the greatest injustice in our day. That's your opinion. Yeah. But, but like how? Oh, like okay, where the Bible yeah, well, let me answer. Um, that, because um, th this is, God destroys nations for practicing child sacrifice, for murdering children. And the Bible says in, in the book of Jeremiah, God says, I think Jeremiah 19 and a couple other places, He says, this did not enter my mind when parents sacrificed their children. And that, that um, also says about King Manasseh, that King Manasseh, he, he filled Jerusalem from one end to the other end with innocent blood, and God would not pardon his sins. God judged Jerusalem three generations later for shedding innocent blood. God takes this later, seriously. The who didn't even do it, so God hates this. People. No, God because doesn't murder did anybody. Not commit the sin. It was three generations later, just like you said. Yeah, God wouldn't pardon the sins. What about the babies yeah. he killed in the Bible? Well, God, well, well, God, he, he's the author of. If, if you're if you're a Christian, you'd understand that God. He's the author of life. It's just as Job said in, I think, Job chapter 2. Well, he's, he's, he said him. that the Lord has given and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And he said that after the Lord, that after all his family except for his wife were taken, were, were, were wiped out, they lost everything. And he said the Lord has given and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And you recognize that those, like, to recognize that God is the author of life. That you shall not murder a place to human beings. God's not a murderer. He has the right to take but life God anytime he wants. So many Bible, children in the Bible. He well, he, he has the right to take anyone's life, whether you're 80 years old or, or one year old. He has the right to take anyone's life. Do you know what the God. biggest cause of death is in the United States right now? Atheism. No, it's actually yeah. what's called um, accident. What's called preventable deaths. Yeah. And if you look into the statistics under preventable deaths, 90 percent of those preventable deaths are violence that happen after people are already born um, and a huge percentage of that is things like gun violence and religious persecution a lot of that is from Christianity and why couldn't we talk about things like gun violence or about um, violence against our neighbors instead of things like oh, a lot of people do gun violence what you a lot, of, a lot of people do and yeah, gun violence takes more lives every year than abortion has taken in the last 10 years the life in the pit of hell right there you don't always say that if you dehumanize your, your neighbor in the womb no, you know, I actually, guns save lives we too. We have not said a single thing about whether or not. You know, that, you know if someone came over here to attack you, that officer, he'd have, he'd have his gun to protect you, right? Guns save lives. Uh, yes, yeah, good people use guns to. Do you think yeah, that you put in the, you put in the right, you put in the right, put in the right hands. Gun would not save that my life. Officer, that officer has gone through training to save people because he cares. One at a time. Hold on. One at a time. One at a time. Don't all yell at me. One at a time. That's why he has a gun, right? No. Why? Why? I'm just saying, are you not thankful that officer has a gun on him to, to protect civilians I'm out here? I'm thankful that, that he has a training has I'm thankful training. that he's sitting here and he's putting up with us, standing here, because he <laughs> believes that we have a right to be yelling at you. <laughs> if we didn't think yeah. that, he would be taking us away, right? Well, he thinks speak. that we both have the right to be communicating with each other. I'm yeah. thankful that he's a decent human being who is yeah. standing here and dealing with this on his payday when he wants to get home to his family because he's putting the time and effort to follow God's word and do action to 
protect us and to protect you, whether or not any of us deserve it. Yeah. He's not judging any of us. He is standing there silently and he's listening to this even though it's bullshit on both ends. He should not have to. I think what you're saying is BS. He's held some both ends. Because we shouldn't have to we be standing here. You shouldn't have to be standing here. You don't have to. You can walk away. You don't have to be here. Because you came to my job. You came to my university. I'm you came to my school yeah. to stand here and show me pictures of dead babies. That's what you do. You can walk away. That's you what you're doing. You, know, you, and you, you, you chose to talk to him. How many people have come to you today and actually said, please help so me, you help I want to come and learn about the Bible? How many people? Oh, today, but that does happen at times, yeah. Yeah, at times. M the most people. of that is probably so obviously 12 times lower. So reevaluate, figure out a way to actually well, help people. You're yeah. not helping me right now. You're not helping me right now. I believe in God, away. and you are making, you are not helping me. You are not helping me. So help people if that's what you want to do. Yeah, help people. Yeah, I'm getting away. them the gospel of Jesus Christ. Well, how are you helping them? I'm, 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 I
Yeah. Well, people, you know, just, God's people trust. Huh? That's okay. Yeah. That's what people. You're using, you're using black people, people trust God, you know. Token. Yeah. I want you to justify your position within 15 minutes. You can hear Todd better if you take the mask off your face. I know. I'm, I'm here riding my scooter. So yeah. What's that? Oh, okay. Alright? Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll try to end. Without using the mask off your face. Well, so you're not going to use any morals in your arguments of anything no, either? No, because morals are so dark. You don't have to be religious. Why do you hate me? Why am I stupid? Look at you. You're holding a sign that says, "My body, my choice." You want to look? You want to read it? Look at you this want, thing. You want to read it? Yeah, I'm reading it. Yeah. But my property. You're trying to defend what? What are you trying to defend here? Defend the defenseless on a culture that hates children. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. God. Yeah. So we love Jesus. I love them enough to tell them the truth. Over to everybody. Jesus Christ said, "I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me." Okay. Okay. He's the truth. Yeah. So what do you think of gay people? Well, I think that they need Jesus Christ. Yeah. Boy, Everybody needs mean? Jesus Christ. What? You're using religion to justify. I'm a Christian. What do you want me to do? I'm not expect, expecting you to abandon your worldview. Don't expect me to abandon my worldview. Yes, but, but right? I'm telling you to justify your morality yeah. without using religion. You, without using Christ? Bullshit. The Bible? Oh my God. You, Can you, you, have to you can't get any morality apart from the Bible, that apart from true. the Ten Commandments. Oh, you can't. It's so all subjective. It's all subjective. That is just means that you're a shitty person and you don't think for yourself. Yeah. You only think with the Bible. I can be a good person separate from the Bible. I love Jesus. I love okay. God. I love the Bible, but I do not need it to be a good person because I am a good person. Um, apart from Jesus Christ, no one is good. The Bible says that they're... The Bible this, Bible that, blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. No one gives a you see, if you, it, blah, you could be blah, born again blah. and then be respectful, and why, why are you getting in my face? I'm not. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever happened to six feet? Blah, blah, blah. You see, this is blah, what happens blah, blah, when fathers blah, blah. fail. Like this this is what happens when fathers fail to raise their children to fear God. Oh, I don't fear they God. They don't respect God their elders. Me. They talk like a little five-year-old child throwing a temper tantrum. Blah, That's what happens. You see, the Bible says blah, that blah, blah, yeah. the in my you have no argument, sir. No, you have no I don't defense. give a shit about you. No, you and why, why you come here? I do things loop. because God tells me to do so. Why do you do, why do, you do things? Loop. Because I want to. Why? Because that's what I want to do. Okay. I do things because I justifiably do that. Okay. Because I want to do it. I don't do it for some moralistic reason over of God and religion. Okay. Well, what, do you know? Do you know uh, what would happen if you were to die today, sir? I don't give a fuck. I, uh, well, you're gonna I die one day. I really don't give a fuck what yeah. you think would happen to me if I died. Yeah. I don't give a shit. If there's a god, I can go tell him to piss off, just like I'm telling you to piss off. Yeah. yeah. Slavery is still legal, by the way, under the Fourteenth Amendment. <laughs> <laughs> but with uh, yeah, not, not chattel not slavery, no. Abolitionists yeah. are abolished are for abolishing. All child, forms of slavery, child sacrifice. All forms of, all you don't care forms about wage slavery. You don't care about wage slavery. You of the removal of people from society. I can't. Yes, you're ignorant. You don't know how systems yeah. work. You don't know how ideologies work. You don't know how to define left versus liberalism or even conservatism or even well, what fascism and yeah. communism looks like in all of its facets. I doubt you do. I've, I've seen I what it looks like in history. I really doubt yeah. it because Okay. I don't know. You're a little more. You're a little more respectful earlier. Yeah. Maybe you've been around with others who weren't respectful, um, and that maybe that just affected you. I've been through a lot of trauma, so well, I don't me, even know. Yeah, it's me, not about yeah, me too. It's me too. It's not about respect. Because well, it's, the scene so, is. Yeah. The scene is. I've been through a lot of trauma. Yeah, this one too. Yeah. No, look at Jesus Christ. I want. I, hold on, one, one moment. I see God. I, I, I see. It, it, people see Jesus Christ in themselves too. Is that, is that no. Thing? Well, those who are born again, they have the Holy Spirit living in them. God living in them, though, through the Holy Spirit. I, I, I just want to make an observation there. That's what it looks like when you can't defend your worldview. You saw that. That was. That's what someone throwing a five-year-old temper tantrum because they don't get their way. He comes across a worldview. Like oh, 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 no, no, not not you. I'm talking about the guy over there. Yeah, that 
that that's how many act like they, when they when they come across a worldview they disagree with, that's they throw a little temper tantrum. That's what happens when you've been fucking traumatized. Yes. I've been traumatized too. Women's and that do you have We're talking about a women's in your fucking body? What does that what does that matter? He didn't have one. No. He's here to support. You mean mur murder? Um, the murder of children? It's not his choice. No, it's, it's mine. not. It's, it's a man. It's, it's a. It's weird. You mean murder another Am human I being? Yell at you for cutting off your little beard hairs? No. That's, 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 your that's very different than shit. murdering a baby. Oh. The body inside oh. your body is not your body. Oh. 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 You will never okay, one. Neither were you. you but why do you defend? Exactly. I shouldn't have to say this. Well, real men. Oh, one, one at a time. Out. One at a time. Real men defend those who cannot defend themselves. Which is, Which is me. me. That's me. It's literally yeah. You should be defending me. Yeah, I, I would. If but someone I came out here and attacked you, I would defend you. And sentience. I understand yeah. what's happening with my body and that yeah. I exist. A baby. A, Fetus. Baby. Yeah. You're speaking English, baby. Yeah. I'll use well, the fucking word baby. baby. <laughs> what do we do with puppies? Who are, there's too many fucking puppies puppies in the world. aren't made in God's image. And I, I love puppies. I love dogs, but they're not made in God's image. Animals are not made in God's image. I say that as an animal lover. Human beings are made in God's image. What's that? Yeah, but not everything's made in God's image. Human beings are. That's what makes us the same. So it's species? That's not narcissistic? Like, wow, okay. <laughs> I don't get that. That doesn't make any fucking sense. But what doesn't? Like, why are we discriminating against other species then? Well, n w because human beings are the ones made in God's image, not animals, not plants, not insects. So we have human, murder human beings. Of, of but everything comes What's from that? God. We could just kill animals. No, it's, it's not. No, it's murder applies to then, human beings. Why don't you focus on something like genocide? I am, right here. This is not, That's not genocide. genocide. Okay, I'm, I, I am. You don't have to believe it, but... <laughs> What's on the other side of your... You already looked at it. No, I want to see this one. This one? Okay. Hold on. No, I want to see the one... Hold on. There we go. Oh, I see you. There we go. Well, I think you'd get a lot better reception on camera yeah. if you had some that was like yeah. maybe preaching the gospel. Like if it's we are like, preaching the gospel out here today. <laughs> uh, this isn't the gospel, really. Um, got God's word think, right there, yeah. I think if it said more of like, you know, actually productive This was the first and, uh, time I've fire. seen anything on your signs talk about the Bible. Yeah, yeah. and I haven't heard you read the Bible today or... You haven't been out here that, that long, then I, I've been giving people been God's word. Over an hour. Yeah. And I've also been trying to listen to you all as you, as many of you have yelled and trying to give you God's word and, and um, yeah, we, we, we've been reading the Bible and, and preaching it throughout, throughout today. Can you explain yeah. the logic behind this? Yeah, good, yeah. Okay, yeah, pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. This is a nation that's very proud and arrogant and haughty. Seeing that today, there's, there's some of you, not all of you, some, some of you. Well, because this, we are destroying ourselves in our pride, because we won't, we're not, we're people who are not humble. And God, the Bible says that God is opposed to the proud, but gives grace to the humble. And we are destroying ourselves because we won't bow the knee to Jesus Christ. We won't be humble. We're, we're, we're proud and arrogant. We think we know it all, but we don't, we need, we don't need, we don't need to. It's, it's yeah. the human nature of us. And you have to unlearn how to be proud and. and what's that? You, you have to unlearn those things. And that you can only. You know, negativity onto others. It, it's just something that logically happens when you understand how to act in a society. You do not need God in a specific instance. I learned a lot through psychology, and you know, my empathies were grown from there. Mm -hmm. That, and you're you know? taking two sides, like two separate entities, okay? The idea of being overly prideful, being arrogant, and what pride is in a modern sense. People, you know, praising their own identities. Those two things are completely separate. God's not saying in this passage, if we use media literacy, to say, you know, you can never be prideful. God's saying, don't be prideful to the extent of haughtiness, which means don't be arrogant to the extent of putting yourself above others or being that person who's like, I'm better than everybody else. So when we look at a, a Bible verse or any media really, and I'm a I'm a literary student, I'm a an English teaching student, so I would know this. Um, we have to deconstruct, which is what we're going to do here, what the actual meaning is versus what the words say, right? Because if I use the word bat, for example, that can mean like a wooden baseball bat or the flying animal, right? So every 
word, and a lot of words in the English language have two meanings. We have to actually get to the root of what these verses are saying, and by imposing our image of what we want the verse to say, we're really just twisting what God actually wanted for the people. This kind of pride did not exist when God <laughs> created the Bible. So when he wrote the Bible, he was talking about people being overly zealous, people being, you know, having that above others mentality, not people celebrating each other for their diversity and for their differences and for their, you know, lifestyles and things like that. So really, like, we have to look at, A, the history, like you were talking about earlier today, what the history means in the context of the Bible, what the literacy, so deconstructing the, the phrases and how that equate to the Bible as a whole, and how that equates to our life now. But we can't just superimpose the meanings of the Bible onto these modern ideas that didn't exist at that point without doing a little bit of digging into what some of these words actually mean. When the Bible User was written, alone. I don't think they were thinking of intersectionality at that point in time. Yeah, it's multidisciplinary. Right? Plus, the brain scans the conservatives versus the liberals. Conservatives see more than the and they make it a little bit larger. And, and there's scientific right? research behind so, that. Uh, liberals and, and leftists have a larger frontal lobe, which has to do with empathy, cognitive reasoning, uh, being able to understand structures of things. I would I would encourage you to, you know, look into bulking that up instead of seeing things as monoliths of black and white. Because that's not how the world is. Do you think there's anything that's black and white? There are some things that are black and white in most things. And I think religion is one of those things that is so That's a really good point too. It's 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 about literacy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's hard too because like if you're gonna earlier you had said something about morals, right? And I really like yeah. to think about that because um, I am religious. I'm not Christian, but I'm religious. Um, what do you mean by religious? I, I, I mean I don't want to cut off your train of thought. I just wonder what you mean by religious. Um, I follow different religions. Okay. And some type of scripture is really, um, it's kind of harmful to think about because then we're kind of putting this idea on ourselves that unless you read the scripture, you can't have things like empathy or you can't, um, you know, have any kind of free form thinking, which isn't necessarily true, right? Yeah, I agree so with you on that, I, actually. I've read the Bible. Yeah, I've read the whole thing. Um, I've read the whole thing. Okay. I grew up in a church. Um, I've read the newest editions of the Bible, and I've read Bibles that are probably older than you. Um, and I can say that those two Bibles were not the same thing, because the translations are different, and the context that people take them in is different. Um, and I can also say that before reading the Bible, so I came to the Bible when I was, um, like, later in my life, I was probably 10 or 11 years old. Before I came to the Bible, I had empathy for other people. I knew that it was wrong to murder people because it would hurt other people, and that's an empathy thing. That's not, like, a scripture thing. Um, I knew that certain things in my life were the way they were, and that my morals and values were the way they were because of how it interacted and affected other people. When I came, when I started reading the Bible and started going to church, those things, my morals didn't change because of the scripture. You know what I mean? Like I didn't gain those those ideas just because I read the Bible. The Bible might have helped shape the way that I think of those ideas, but it didn't. I didn't all of a sudden like those values didn't just pop into my head because I read the Bible. Um, and when we think about the fact that a lot of these ideas come from people who have grown up maybe with scripture, you think that these ideas came from the Bible, but it really just comes from the people that you grew up with and gaining and from other people. But you can't just keep saying that like without the Bible or without scripture that people are just gonna like sin and become part of this like ultimate evil world that you know like that would be against God's image just them doing all these things because it's not moral because it's not in the Bible like all of the things that the Bible says came from somewhere the Bible had to be built by people who gained scripture from their own lives and some of them did gain scripture from God as well but a lot of those stories were anecdotes that people said hey this is a story that happened to me in my life that I'm incorporating God into because it happened to me but a lot of the part of
Abraham's story up until a certain point didn't have God. And then God gets put into the story and then, you know, because that's how a story works. You don't just have, like, God the whole way through the story. It's, here's the events and here's what happened. So I think to say that, you know, to, to condemn all these students for not believing in the Bible because it's unjust or unmoral is just putting on this idea that unless somebody's read the Bible, they can't have morals, which isn't necessarily true. We're just saying no, we're not condemning anyone. Or we don't have the authority to do it. Well, I don't mean condemn in the yeah. biblical sense. I mean condemn in the sense of, like, speaking down to these these students or judging these students for doing this. I don't even think we're speaking down to. I mean, we... Um, we're... Well, um, I mean, honestly, we've all judged each, each other today, right? It's not wrong to judge, always judge. The Bible says to judge with righteous judgment. The spiritual man judges all things. You got to you gotta make sure it's a righteous judgment. What's, um, I think people are products of their You say you think you are, they are? People are products of their Yeah. I don't, I don't it, necessarily hmm? judge you. Okay. I just, I'm, I'm, I'm saddened because there, okay. there is that thing that people double down in their arguments when they're faced with conflict. Mm -hmm. But the, the truth is, all we want is, is for a better world and for, for us to bridge the gap. And it's really hard to do it with Christian conservatives. And whether you want to admit that or not, I'm sure you see it. There's so much of a brick wall there that we can't even have a conversation with them. And it's hard for them to see us in an empathetic way, you know, because like with you don't you don't feel for anyone who cries because you say you say it's the argument is over at that point but when you're faced with so much trauma that's the natural reaction right and Not if you always. understand how people are, are come about with their reactions where does that come from then you're actually asking the real questions you know that's that's where judgment gets put aside because you understand where everything's coming from and then you can have better reasoning in that way. Yeah, because we, like in a church setting, right? Mm -hmm. If somebody starts crying during their, um, like, during their story of, of being found or coming to Jesus, we don't all of a sudden tell them that we're not going to listen to their story anymore because they're crying, right? That just might be the product of their emotions taking capture of their body. It's the same thing for having empathy for another person. Sometimes somebody's going to come to you with ideas and they're going to get loud or they're going to cry or they're going to have some kind of outward reaction and it's not necessarily fair to just say that we can't listen to them because they're having these emotional reactions because there's a lot of okay. things that happen in people's environments that change the way that they react to things. Yeah. Did, uh, does it seem like I haven't listened to, 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 to any of you or? Well you have like told people who were yelling or crying or whatever that like okay and turned away from them and then started talking to somebody else um, um, you know you're there to the times I have done that is because it seemed to me that they weren't um, real reasonable they didn't want to listen and because um, that's happened two or three times today where there was a couple of them that just did not seem like they, they were reasonable they didn't want to listen they just you know they just wanted to spout off what they were thinking and they didn't want an, even an answer to answer to their question and so I just try to use discernment with that, and not to shut someone down, but it's like, is, is it helpful to talk to someone who doesn't want to hear it, who does, does, you know, is going to shout you down or not even listen? And it's possible that, I, that I've, you know, maybe used wrong discernment on that, or yes, that... Yes, look at the environment you're in. You're yeah, oh, auditory, I know. you're not an electrical. Oh, you're I know. Not, you're not, well, you're not, or you're not talking yeah. to, to, as a one-on-one. -on -one. Well, it's, it's kind of hard to do that when you got got a group, but it's... Yeah. It does look like yes, you want to get a reaction yeah. of people. Like, yeah, if you want to spread the word of God, have a sign about God. You know? yeah, um, like, people would still lose their minds. If you come to God, you'll be saved. <laughs> or a sign about how, you know, like all the good things God did. Instead of, like, obviously this sign doesn't yeah. have a direct quote from the Bible. This sign it's actually, is um, a modern yeah. idea of pills and abortion yeah. to kind of equate to the Bible, right? That's what we're doing here. But I think you'd have a more receptive response people around campus or maybe more people trying to come to to the scripture if you had more like receptive well, I mean, I did too, yeah, imagery yeah. if it was something that if we bring people in with with love and compassion and kindness first mm -hmm. before we we just jump into these things that are supposed to elicit some kind of like overreaction kind of response or big response from people because if i 
had never been in a church in my life, this would scare the daylights out of me. And not because, really? like, not because, you know, like, I would think that God is scary or anything like that, but because the image of this and the words that we're using here are kind of like a big thing. They have a negative connotation. And so this would not, you know, elicit me as a, as a student, you know, hypothetically, to come to a church or to take up the scripture because it's not something that, you know, I can see myself engaging with. Well, this has to do, of course, with the uh, abortion pill, and, you know, that should scare people. Yeah, you know, but... Because it's a serious thing that takes the life of an innocent person. But you're aware that a lot of abortions happen before it becomes, like, a fully grown fetus? And once it becomes a fully, fully grown fetus, and, like, an abortion occurs, it's because of her medical condition, like, it needs to that, happen. That. And regardless of the reasoning, it really isn't up to you to decide when a woman should or shouldn't have an abortion. Uh, Wouldn't well, this be like it is suited for it, some kind of lecture or something like bringing people in with positive imagery, with positive like kindness and compassion, and then hitting the hard topics, maybe the ones that people shouldn't be able to just see driving by in a in a more closed setting. I'm not saying that I want to censor you, but like mm-hmm. our campus has not only college students, but like a lot of times there's children. We had a child walk past us today. Mm-hmm. Now it's getting to the time where schools are going to start closing soon, and we're going to have a lot of kids walking. This might not be the imagery to be just showing in public where we have not only people who have trauma responses to this kind of imagery, but also young children who may not have the capacity to kind of think about this thing yet. The signs we normally have show what an actual abortion yeah. is. The, the not, not, not a drawing, but abortion. actually. Yeah, this is just a diagram. Yeah. I mean, we show pictures of, of, of a mutilated baby. But it's the it same abortion. idea. Like, yeah. like, why show this instead of show the overarching idea that God is about, about love and about compassion and about salvation, when you have students walking by of different backgrounds and different, you know, trauma responses and ages. I've seen, like, literal, like, four-year-old kids walk by, and I would be very concerned if my four-year-old kid pointed to a sign like this and had to ask me what Who this was, you know? That's what they are, yeah. Who broke the baby? When you get to explain to them, and they won't murder a baby in the future, like, no, I saw that when I was four or seven or ten, and I can't do... Like, that's the point. Well, says who, though? It says, it's not age-appropriate. When we teach our children, the number one concern we have is, you, what is age-appropriate for our children? Well, to consider about. this. Teaching a four-year-old about abortion. Consider this, that there's, uh, I just saw the other day that in New Jersey, they're teaching in kindergarten and preschool, what, was that six or seven years old, four or five years old? Yeah. They're teaching them that men can become pregnant and get and get birth. They're teaching that to little children. Uh, that's not totally, in totally, totally, totally inappropriate. New Jersey, and actually, New Jersey has many, many laws against uh, speaking about pronouns and things in school. So I would assume, um, and I've seen some of the issues about this specific topic, mm-hmm. that that media outlet has done a little bit of what we call um, valid media um, or fallacy. Um, which is when they take uh, a discussion and they kind of turn it to what they want it to be. Um, you know, I've worked for media entities before. I know how easy it is to write media in a way that sounds the way that I want it to sound. Um, and I can tell you that as a teaching student um, and doing a lot of my own research, New Jersey as a whole, that is not their law or their prerogative to be teaching students about that. Um, if they are having conversations with students about gender identity that young, the whatever that field of study is. So if I can't find it in at least three reputable sources, 
then that information might just be a fallacy that somebody made up and put on the internet, right? Because anybody can write a blog. Um, yeah. um, right now with advertising, anybody can make something look like a magazine yeah. or like um, a press release from any kind of like New York Times article, even yeah. if it's not. You have to do your due, your due diligence and research. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And so that's how we, we figure out if these things are real. Because sometimes I even get duped. Um, I look at something and I say, oh, I think this information is completely correct. Um, and then I find out that, you know, that source just twisted what the information was saying or what the actual facts were on that information. You know, it's true because you saw it on Facebook, right? Yeah, exactly. It's the same idea. Like, all these people think it's true because they see it on social media, but you have yeah. to verify that information. Yeah. Yeah, because you're right. Then we're just spreading misinformation on the Yeah. There's four references okay. to what we're saying in this. Uh, yeah, and I, I looked at your references. Yeah, okay. Um, I can go through them with you. You want one too, man? So, um, when yeah. we look at this bottom reference here, um, this person actually doesn't have any kind of reputation in their field. Um, this is just a person taking somebody else's words and using them for their own benefit. Um, this, um, Yeah, but you can, so like, say that you say, um, like, I think that lollipops are good and murder is bad. If I cite your work in an article for a newspaper or magazine, I can cite you and say, so-and-so says that murder is good. Because you said those words when we talked. You said the word murder, you said the word is, and you said the word good. But I twisted your words around. You didn't actually say that. I just said that you said that. So that's what some of these people do. Um, and then some of these informations are the, um, the kind of the facts and information from the medicines website, which is what they have to do is they have to actually tell you all of the things that could have happened, even if it only happened to one person. And when we cherry pick information like this, side effects include nausea, dizziness, vomiting, fatigue, apparent vaginal bleeding. This does happen when you take a birth control, um, when you, it can happen, it doesn't happen to everybody, um, to the small minority of people who take, you know, a morning after pill, but these are also all side effects of pregnancy. So when we take a, a source or some information out of context without looking at the whole picture, or when we take these sources out of context without the whole picture, we think that we're spreading a ton of really good information, but really we're missing the main problems or issues that are going on. Because like... Did you see the movie Unplanned? It's about Abby Johnson. Um, I have. Um, and... So she must have... She took a drug like yep. this. And she was bleeding all over the place. That, that scene... That was abnormal. It's, she she was upset because she had no idea. But you have to be careful if you don't like that because it is appealing to one side. Yeah. So, so they're going to be dramatizing a little bit to kind of scare that one side into being like, yes, it is this bad. And it's, yes, that, It was her testimony. Yeah. She, you know, that movie was really her, a movie about her story, which she subscribes to. So she's saying, this is what I experienced. Yeah, but then you're saying, well, that, that amount of bleeding is abnormal for pregnancy. It is, but that also, that amount of bleeding is normal for a miscarriage. And miscarriages and happen... And it's not an abortion. A miscarriage, a miscarriage is, is not, not an abortion. Yeah. It's but just it, a medical term for... Yes, but abortion. miscarriages happen more often than negative complications from the morning after pill. So if we're looking at risk versus reward, um, we would say that the morning after pill has a lower risk rate than pregnancy. Well, but yeah. I'm not saying that like everybody should go out and you know do these things. It's up to people to choose what they believe in and what they feel is best for their body. But at the same time, that's why we have to look at the the whole issue in a big scope before we make a decision instead of just looking, um, you know, at these these articles by people who are only on the side that we want to believe in because. You know, if you start getting down this rabbit hole of only the people that believe in what I believe in, eventually, instead of the research becoming linear, which means that it continuously supports what I believe in, the research becomes secular, which means that all these people have gotten their information from the same place. And instead of being reputable anymore, um, 
it, it's like a three-way cycle of just, oh, I got my information from him, and he got his information from, from this guy, and then when I researched it, I got my information from this guy too. So really, it's all coming from the same place. Um, so that's really what I'm what I mean to say about this information is it's it's great to educate people, but we have to be wary and conscious of how we're doing that um, and how we're coming across because we want to be warm and inviting and welcoming when we're doing anything on campus, especially you know preaching to students who might have an aversion to um, images like this or who might have some negative experiences with religion in the past. Um, and I think it would probably help you guys a lot to. You said that too. To Exactly, to try to bring in people with love and compassion and caring rather than with, you know, images that might be um, traumatizing for some people or with statistics that are specifically one-sided. I don't know, that's just my two cents. I think sure. college students can handle this. I, I mean, all the trash that's, 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 that's on TV and violent video games, I think people can handle it. Especially. Yeah, but you, you can't choose if, if it's appropriate and you know, viewable for every person because you don't know what traumas people have gone through. You know, like, I wouldn't show a video of something, like, I wouldn't show a video of violence to somebody who has had a history because that's you know, Thanks for talking with us. What time is it? Sir. Thanks for your service officer. Uh, yeah.